Hey everybody, it's your girl Miss Info. We are here at Black Star Music right in Harlem, where we should be. Yup. Because I'm with the young one, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferg, whole ASAP mob is here. And um, you know, it's only right to represent for Harlem, a place that's very near and dear to my heart, Hot 97's heart, and also this kid and his entire movement. But um, you know, we have to kind of recap. It's been such a crazy year. Yeah, Every absolutely. time I see you, I'm proud. Proud of me, always. Always so proud. Like and You're always... like a godmother. <laughs> Word. <laughs> she like a, a goddess. A very godmother. A goddess a godmother. A goddess angel. I, I really appreciate that. And also, you know, um, I just love to see the movement. And sometimes, sometimes it's good, sometimes, sometimes it's bad, it's but it's always fucking interesting. That's what's okay? up. Okay? So, let's go over the year. First uh -huh. off, ASAP Mob. The kids are getting their own sponsors, their own commercials. I'm seeing Timberland ads and all this stuff. Just, can you just put into words how you feel about it not just being you alone? That's what I wanted from Jump. I wanted everybody to shine individually. You know what I'm saying? I, I just wanted it to be organic for everybody. Like, we all came up together and everybody had individual talent. You know, it's, it's not just me. I mean, anybody could tell you, I mean, walking up and down these streets, people always, they knew it was something odd about us, but they always, you know, everybody always fucked with us because it was something about us that was just, you know, interesting. And I just try to manifest it and try to, I guess, monetize it and capitalize off of it because it's like, I mean, we could have been wasting it, you know, just walking down the streets. You know, our raw talents, people do it every day. And I just wanted to take it to effect and show them, like, this is the new Harlem Renaissance we got here on yeah. our hands, man. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, man, we not just bringing back Harlem or New York, we bringing hip hop, like, you know, to another state, uh, yeah. uh, uh, another, a whole that's nother, up. for real, you know what I'm saying? So that's the only mission we got right now. Another thing, travel. You've seen so many parts of the world in this past year. What was like the most incredible thing, the most eye-opening experience you know, outside I, of New York? I never been out the country until this year. And I've been to so much different countries. It's like wisdom. You know, I really wasn't fond of traveling, believe it or not. I'm boring, you know what I'm saying? So when I got out the country, I fell in love with it. Not only that, it kind of like expands your horizon as far as knowledge goes. You're aware of different stuff that you never knew. Like, I was so ignorant that I thought, like, when you say African girls, I'm thinking about like bald headed, peasy hair with, you know, flies on the forehead and, and running around fires and stuff. Cause that's Something all you I, saw in National Geographic. Exactly. Okay. You know, it's almost, it's, it's, it's like propaganda, you know. So when I got out the country and I seen these girls with beautiful, straight white teeth, long ass hair, fat old asses, and I asked them, what are you? And they talking about African, you know, I was, word? Uh -huh. Like, this is how African women look? You also got to meet your heroes, um, specifically at Hot 97, you, you met Rakim. Are there other people, like tell me about some other people that you met this year that kind of blew your mind? Danger Mouse. Okay. Um, like I wanted to work with him more than like anybody on my album. I'm serious. Wow. And when I got to work with him, it was just like a, a big, big experience, man. I, I was just happy, you know, and I could, I could probably never get over that. There were incidents like say at South by Southwest or in London where they would test you mm -hmm. every time to see whether they would get the mm -hmm. reaction. Out. I don't want to I don't want to get sued no more. Right. I don't want no more lawsuits. I feel like if somebody violate me, you know, I let God deal with it, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm, I'm keeping the peace, bro. It's easy to let it go though when you're doing so well. It's yeah. much easier. It is. It's much easier it when you're in a happy place. Yeah. What about your taste in clothes? I think that style-wise you really become some somebody that whether other guys admit it or not mm -hmm. they're watching what you're wearing mm -hmm. and they're also kind of watching the way that you don't care mm -hmm. what other people are saying i just want to please everybody know i'm not being arrogant i'm being 100 percent truthful i want to know like i want y'all to know that like uh my level of intelligence when it comes to fashion makes me a rocket scientist was Straight there up. ever something that you wore and then afterwards you're like that was too far now nah, it's something that I wore that I, I said I would, I'm would. i not wearing again. What was that? Uh, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but I'm tired of seeing them calm the fuck down hats and shit, man. Okay. That everybody uh -huh. wearing that shit getting on my nerves. Because <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's either come de garçon or not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, it's, it's, it's out of control now. But what about, like, say, for example, a lot of people didn't understand the, um, the outfit on 106 in Park, and they felt like you were wearing a dress, you know. That's ridiculous. 
okay. I mean, at the Speak end of the day, it. at the end of the day, I'm not going to justify what I wear because yeah. I wear what I wear and I look in the mirror before I. You also had jeans on underneath it, so. It no, was... that was a, it was a it was a piece. It was a okay. set. Those were in the Mueller meets the pants, and see the shirt is a long shirt. And right. It's supposed to stop where the design starts on the pants, so it's like it's one piece. Right. It's high in fashion shit. It's all good. Though, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's the next thing that you're you're hyped about fashion wise? I want. I'm. I'm trying to collab with Raph Simmons right now. Okay. And I'm trying to make that happen. I'm collabing with Alexander Wang and Jeremy Scott. So you know, a lot of as far as fashion goes, it's gonna be a good year for Harlem and ASAP. And then the last thing is obviously, you know, we can't not talk about the fact that the album leaked. Mm-hmm. Um, and everybody is talking about it. Everybody what are they loves saying? It. I mean, I think they love it, but they also want to know how this affects you. Like, you know, people who care about you want to know, like, well... Can I keep it 100 with you? Of course, all you have to. I've been waiting for people to hear this music for so damn long. You know, I'm not, I'm, uh, of course I gotta be a businessman, but before anything, I'm an artist. The album leaked, and I'm gonna leave it up to my dependable label, which I rely on to fix all that. That's the business aspect. Mm -hmm. I made my art, y'all love it, and that's all I cared about. And I just want to thank everybody who anticipated this and who was waiting. Okay, we'll see that. I knew you were gonna have such a positive spin on it. And, and I also like the fact that um, even though I think people felt like you were either gonna try to be as mainstream as the hype, mm -hmm. or try to be as alternative as your look, mm -hmm. you still came with both of those things, but mostly a real hood street hard album. So Thank you. I was kind of surprised about that. Thank you. Happily surprised. Thank you. Okay, so it's your girl, Miss Info. This is 2012, we're going into 2013. This kid is only getting bigger and better. Um, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferg, the whole ASAP mob. They're my family and I love them. We so, love you, uh, group hug, group hug, group hug. Yeah, we don't love you, Ferg. Get out of here. We don't love you. <laughs>